Hello, I'm George from BitNinja and in this video I will show you how BitNinja can protect your server against the eight, uh, SSH brute force attacks. SSH brute force attacks are very popular because uh, unfortunately many people use weak passwords for their servers and uh, that's what makes uh, this kind of attack very effective. Uh, as the attackers can use a dictionary based password uh, brute force attack and in many uh, of the cases they can uh, just log in uh, this way okay to to show you how bitninja can protect this this kind of threat uh, i will show you in this uh, window the authentication log of uh, the victim server okay i clear this window and uh, here you can see bitninja running and you can see all the logs and with the attacker i will start to uh, trying to log in with the uh, bad credentials to the server first second third trial after three trial the SSH server will disconnect, so I will try it again. Fourth, fifth, six trials. I go on. Seven, eight, and BitNinja detects that uh, something is going on, and uh, from the IP one two three four somebody is trying to uh, log in and uh, with, with too, too many failed passwords uh, you can see that the SSH login fail filter was triggered so BitNinja blacklist okay not blacklist but graylist this IP so now I cannot log in and I uh, cannot harm uh, the victim server anymore I can still ping it it works and I can also uh, open it by HTTP but I will see uh, an anti-robot validation page and if you watch it with a regular browser you will see here a CAPTCHA page that uh, you have to resolve to, uh, to be removed from the grey list at the same time you can see uh, in your BitNinja admin panel that uh, this kind of attack was detected and you can also see uh, some logs uh, from your uh, server log and uh, that's how BitNinja can detect and protect your server against uh, SSH brute force attacks. Thank you for watching.